Okay, so today in social studies for content, we will be watching the weekend wrap. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the weekend wrap for today, or for last week, I should say. What up, everybody? Coming to you live from Flocabulary. Let's go. Oh, you want the news and only fact? I got you. Welcome to the weekend rap. Yeah, welcome to the weekend rap. We got you. Welcome to the weekend rap. Let's kick it off with some politics. Let me mention the DNC held a four day virtual convention where Joe Biden officially accepted nomination for president from the Democratic Party. Get the racing. The DNC's message was unity amid a struggling economy, global pandemic, and a society calling for racial justice. Many politicians spoke, supporting Biden for president, asking people to vote. More politics. Susan B. Anthony was pardoned by President Trump years ago. She broke the law when she voted as a woman 18. 72. Hard to believe it was illegal and something you couldn't do. President Trump pardoned her on the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment, a law you might have heard. See it granted women the right to vote in the U.S. Anthony drew attention to the movement with her arrest. Let's shift the science. An asteroid the size of a car just flew by us. Well, not exactly, but 1,830 miles from Earth. The closest any has ever come without hitting our turf. Scientists detect the 2020 QG. Six hours after it passed us in the galaxy. Actually, they think we would have been safe here because it probably would have exploded in Earth's atmosphere. Uh, now for some football, the Kansas City Chiefs changed the dress code for fans sitting in their seats. No more Native American face paint allowed And no more headdresses if you're sitting in the crowd To respect the culture and stop appropriation They had discouraged this dress as an organization But now it's official like a ref with a whistle The Chiefs plan to learn more about Native American issues To wrap up an experiment to make you say what? Researchers painted fake eyes on cattle butts It's called the eye cow technique It's supposed to make predators who want to attack stop and rethink The scientists say it's a more humane suggestion as opposed to fencing and other legal protection they think it could be used to reduce criminal activity and human wildlife conflict are you feeling me oh you wanted the news and only fact i told you i got you with the weekend rap yeah we got you with the weekend rap vocabulary by near pod next week we're back enter the shout out contest for a chance to be featured in a future weekend rap video Fuck. All right, so that is the week in wrap for last week.